Hello guys, welcome to Witness Mommy Knees. I'm Peter and today we paint something different. So a well-known guy for you guys is of course Scott the Miniature Maniac and he summoned up all of the content creators in a common goal during April to paint something different than Warhammer, calling it Other Games April. OGA. Lots of people have rallied to the cause, so I thought, what the heck, I can do it too. So I started to look for inspiration on what to paint, and by happenstance, Sweden's oldest and largest gaming convention happened during Easter. So I went to GothCon. <laughs> As a wee lad, me and my buddies used to visit the convention to uh, play RPG scenarios and to roam the halls at all hours of night, to munch out on snacks and to eventually crawl into a sleeping bag late, late, late at night. Back then, buying a coffee mug meant free coffee for the whole convention. Lots of vendors have put up shops and now that I'm into miniatures, a crazed feeling begins to bubble inside of me when I see those second-hand bins. But that's not why I'm here. I start to look in all of the different store shelves for something to awaken the urge in me to uh, put paint on the brush. Something that stood out was Marvel United. I've never seen the mini scene person before and I really like the vibe of them and it would be an opportunity to paint something in a very unique style. And then there was the Swedish game Janur, or Brains in English. A miniature agnostic game uh, set in the Swedish countryside in the 90s. And let's face it, there's tons of zombie minis out there that you can use for these kinds of games. In the end, I meet up with a dear old friend of mine at the convention. And he brought me a game to paint. Something very different and I would say very unique. And the game itself seems very cool. So here you have it. Quad Heroes. When I first heard about this initiative, I thought this would be a great opportunity to get people involved that are not into wargaming in general. Let's face it, I mean, Warhammer is covered in skulls, blood and pus. And don't get me wrong, sometimes I actually do love it. But in painting these minis where the stakes are very low and the cuteness is very high, I thought I could get other people on board. My five-year-old kid will be painting this one. I also handed up a couple of them to my mom. And lastly, I gave this one to my co-worker, Philip. He is also on Instagram at Taxic Miniatures. Shake him out and give him some love and also ask for a commission. He does great stuff. Before handing them out to their painters, I Prime them black, I do a light senatal with a bone color. And as for myself, I will be painting these two. What's not to like? A fluffy candy monster and a freaking parrot pirate. <laughs> awesome, right? One big difference in painting these minis, other than the minis that I've painted in the past, is the fact that they don't have a base, but instead, they even have an underside. So you have to paint the feet. So when you play the game with these minis, you actually roll around on the different sides with the uh, miniature. And each side has appointed abilities that changes how the miniature moves across the table. So the game comes with this huge box full of doodads and markers and stuff and minis, of course. The production quality is great. I've not gone into depth on the rules, but uh, as far as I gather, it's a puzzle game where you program you in this movement. There is 2v2, there is 1v4, there is even solo play. So you choose a scenario or you build one yourself and supposedly every time you play one of these scenarios, depending on the hero you pick and the uh, programming that you've done, will change the gameplay enormously. So when painting these guys, I had so much fun. And of course, it's just 
fun to not, not have any stakes. This isn't for any client. This is just for a friend. And it's something fun and cute. And the worst thing that actually can happen is that something goes wrong and that I've learned from my mistakes. So with this mentality, I actually go in without any sort of plan at all. So as for well, the hairy dude, I mix all of the pink colors that I have, all the different brands, all the different colors. I just put them on the wet palette and I just go in there trying to um, evoke some kind of texture hair feeling. After a while I ditch it and I go in with the contrast paint all over the mini to establish a um, easy base tone. Then I go back again with different paints, trying to build volumes with, with different hues. And as for the Parrot Pirate, I do a contrast style paint job. I pick out the different parts of the minis and choose a contrast color that fits that part. And then uh, when that is set, I go in with the bright pale yellow. I lighten up that and then I go over it with either the same contrast paint again or another contrasting color or just a brighter one. In some places I use a Citadel shade just to get a quick and easy definition. These minis really was soulless and had no life until I got to the eyes. Having this kind of overblown and cartoony, I could really get in there and try to do reflections and colors and stuff. And yeah, I mean, I think it speaks for itself. After the eyes was done, this was characters. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button if you wanna when I release my next video. And here you have them all bottle up cuteness for 400 freaking percent. I'm looking forward to trying the game out and seeing them roll around the gaming table. So with this said, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check all the other OGA videos out there and thank you Scott for starting this uh, initiative because I think, for me at least, it really broadened the horizon of what is out there and how to get other people engaged. If you want to support my work, I am on Patreon and you can find all of my links down in the description. At the very least, please come and hang out in our Discord. There is so many talented people in there and they are all waiting for you to ask for feedback and come and hang out while painting. So with that said, thank you guys. Peter out. Bye.